think the lovely thing about the work I do is that it forces me to be interested in everything. There's always a, a new surprise, always a new thing to, to learn. I work as a consultant for the Oxford English Dictionary. The project that I've just started working on uh, over the last year is a new history of dictionaries in the British Isles from the late Middle Ages to 1800. So about from the time that people start to print dictionaries, sometimes you get 16th century dictionaries which somebody has clearly read through from end to end saying, oh, that's neat, and writing uh, an entry out in the margin or writing a summary of an entry in, in the margin. Sometimes hundreds of hours of reading seem to have gone into these annotated copies. And whenever you open a new copy of a 16th century book, you've no idea what surprises are going to be in there. Language is fossil poetry, said Emerson. Digging really does seem to be the, the right metaphor. One's, one's scrabbling away with one's little trowel, trying to, trying to find the bit of evidence hiding somewhere under all the dust. The fossil poetry quality of, of words is something that makes lexicography feel like an imaginative line of trade. What sort of stories should we be telling about those words? It was the most interesting kinds of story to tell about them. I was trying to understand the word blotto a few years ago, meaning drunk, and the more evidence I found for very early uses of blotto, the more I saw that it turns up on the Western Front in 1917. What are soldiers in 1917 thinking about? Where are they? Who are they talking about? It turned out that a blotto is a make of little motorised tricycle which used to zoom rather erratically around Paris and I strongly suspect that the Blotto the tricycle and Blotto drunk are connected to each other although I never got the smoking gun on that one. The most rewarding thing that I've pulled out of it is how deeply language is connected with culture and how deeply people's understanding of the language that they speak and write and read is connected with their sense of themselves as agents in their own culture.